I miss nips all the time, so I'm trying to blur this episode. Well, not blur, but put emojis. The last step of this video, and then it's gonna be rendered and uploaded. And it's the most important step. I was sitting in the back, and all I heard was, that's not a titty. Dude, this is intricate work. I, I, I'm not so good at it. And I check out this one I missed on Kaza, but I've covered now. So she comes running in, frame by frame. You gotta get, wait, wait till this guy goes away. Oh. Nope. That's okay, wait for Side it. Boob, that's this one okay. came in, right? Yeah, there. that's questionable. <laughs> See questionable that? nip, but. I covered it though. If anybody can spot a titty slip, it's Kazatron. Mm -hmm. And Karen's got the yeah. eyes like a. She spots a nipple from like a mile away, so. <laughs> she spots titty like slips. There's two titties right there! Oh, those, my, those are my Troll. titties. Oh, those are Brady's. <laughs> <laughs> Previously on Delos, we arrive into Luteritz, Namibia. I test out some witch doctor love drops on the girls. Whoa, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. What do you think? It's good. And we explore an abandoned diamond mining town. Wow. Did you get here? So today we are gonna go up to a place called Hotten Tot. Hotten Tot. And it's about 40 nautical miles away. And yeah, we're just looking forward to heading off back on the ocean, having some good times, and um, I'm looking forward to learning more about tacking and um, learning more about apparent and true win. But it's just this little bay up here, and we're right here, so we're just gonna. Ch -ch -ch -ch. But it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fog, and it actually looks a bit dark over there. Luteritz Port Control, Luteritz Port Control, this is the sailing yacht Delos requesting permission to depart destination Fallas Bay. Over. Hello, sailing yacht Delos, Luteritz Port Control, good morning to you. Yeah, you may proceed for permission granted. Have a safe journey to Fallas Bay. Over. Thank you very much. Have a great morning and thanks for uh, having us stay for the visit. What a great little town. A lot of nice people. Did we call a clock control that we are leaving? Yes. What did they say? Okay, have a good sail. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are funny though. Yeah. Very uncomplicated. It had been a few weeks now since the crew had set sail from Cape Town and Luteritz had been our first big stop together. It felt good to be falling into our roles and having Delos and the sea become our home. Our next stop was a tip from Totem, who had told us about a random little anchorage called Hot and Top Bay. Most of the Skeleton Coast was privately owned and off bounds to the public, so we were excited to explore some massive dunes in the oldest desert in the world. Mr. Brady, the intrepid hey, sailor on watch. We're cruising, bro. How's it? Good. We've got like 20 knots from behind us. What? Dead behind. We got wing on wing on wing. Wing on wing on wing. We got wing uh, what? on Wing on wing. Look at us. Cruising that, averaging over seven knots on course. Sweet. Hot and Tot Bay. Hot and Tot. Mm. Hot and Tot Bay, where there's lots of parties and we drink 
hot toddies. Is it? That's the plan. Fantastic. I could go for a hot toddy right now. Yeah. You could go for a hottie too, huh? Yo! Yo! <laughs> Beautiful day. The only thing that we could change is being in underwear. Yeah, dude, it's cold. Look at <laughs> yeah. I see socks. But our course is north. I've right? got on socks. Which is terrible. They're comfy. They're comfy, but I don't want to be comfy and cozy. I want to be warm and sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty wanted to get involved because me and Elizabeth are are painting and now we've had a request that Brady wants a portrait so he's I want to be like Rose Dawson from Titanic <laughs> so show I have this the is how he wants to be painted. so I have the heart of the ocean around my neck and I think she was like something like this <laughs> yeah perfect okay <laughs> One second in, I made a mistake already. One centimeter. <laughs> Jack, are you blushing? <laughs> hey, look at me. That's the one. I feel yeah. it. This is yeah, me. Put that. yourself in that scene, Brady. Pretend you're really her right now. Jack, I, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Stay still. Right away, he looks straight for my balls. Are his balls Because out that's Brady's balls out pose. So it's amazing the, the watch today. I'm really enjoying it. It's so beautiful out here and we're really sailing good. So we're actually, I think we're gonna be there in just a little over an hour or something, which is super cool. And the sun is shining, the fog is not here anymore, which is super nice. And I hope this is a good anchorage. It looks pretty nice. About, I don't know, maybe like 10 miles left? But we're honing at about six knots, so... Ooh, we're on it now, look at this. We're on that lean. Cruising. Yeah. It's amazing. Jamming. How many knots? Nine, Nine knots. knots. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Right in this moment, I actually fulfilled a lifelong dream. We were closing in on the vast sand dunes of the Skeleton Coast. Our plan was to anchor as close as we could to this desolate, unforgiving landscape. This place had a completely different vibe than anywhere we've sailed Delos before, unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life. This is definitely my favorite part of cruising, arriving in an unknown place, not knowing what we might find around the next corner. Whitney Casa! Yeah? <laughs> we found like a five meter spot that I think will be good. It's still windy, but hopefully we'll be a bit more out of the swell. It's a pretty big swell, huh? Yeah, I mean, over there, yeah. it looks like it's the swell is not because I think it's probably wrapping around like this, right? Yeah. So if you look over there, kind of towards that triangle structure, yeah. But it's still quite far in the deep. Yeah, there's definitely a lot less swell over there. Yeah, it is about one nautical mile over there, though. Okay. Let's do it. Or less waves. We are going on a mission. We're gonna try to bring the dinghy into the beach and not flip it. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be a wet ride. Everyone's in their waterproof gear. 
somewhere on the skeleton coast and there's obviously nothing around except this abandoned ship. It's really cool. I don't think many people get to come here. First skeleton, skeleton coast. That must be a cow or something. It's not the legs go down. So if it was a human, it would. Either way, it's creepy. <laughs> I don't know what it could be. It's not a dog because it has like big whiskers on it. Yeah, it has some big teeth too. Oh, weird. It smells bad. Whoa. What right? a weird little beast. What is why, that? Why do all these things come here to die? Or why are they brought here dead or? I don't know. Do people hunt them and eat them, you think? Oh, it stinks. Look at yeah. the rib cage, it's right there. It's quite a big animal. It's not a dog. What's out here? There's those, uh, what are they called? Jackals. Yeah, that's what they are, they're jackals. One of the jackals. I don't know, I came to that conclusion pretty quick. Oh, that's what it is. It's seals and probably all these tracks are the animals that have been feeding on this seal. Now I know what that other one was as well. It's super cool though, like it's just all of these abandoned things and this landscape is just, you can just feel how harsh it is and like how the wind is just howling and the sand and the stone and it's just like I don't know, it's just no water, it's very, very rough. It's super amazing to explore though. And Delos look epic behind the, behind the sand dunes over there. It's a beautiful place, absolutely stunning. How cool is this place it's though? I mean, cool. just landing here, there's no people. There's nothing. There's skeletons and sand dunes and wrecked buildings. It's trippy. I have two uh, theories. One is that it's some sort of a remote exploration compound because it's got solar panels and it's got like water tanks and it's all locked up so maybe they bring people here like a weird boy scout sort of thing. It's got a huge parking lot on the other side. Theory number two is that it's a research station and they're using it to like explore for things like diamonds or shipwrecks. But I have no knowledge beyond that. You see those big pieces of wood over there? Yeah. Those, if you go up and take a look at them, they look like uh, ship's timbers. Oh, cool. like Like huge old parts of the inside of a ship. Wow. And there's also a cart over there that could either be a, a mining cart or a, like, uh, the thing that they used to set the cannons on. Yeah. How cool are they, huh? So crazy. They're massive. I wonder how old they are. Oh. Look at that. Goddamn whale rib. Oh no, I guess this is one vertebrae. Yeah. 
Still though, that's like, like a freaking. <laughs> I know. It's huge. Look at this crazy island in front of Dallas. Decided to take a little night mission in, mm -hmm. try and do some night photography, and we just got our first sighting. We're looking over them, these like glowing green eyes, yeah. and we think it's a jackal. I think but it's, it's, but it's, it's a cool because night. we have our machete. trusty machete. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna set up somewhere. Can't lose your shit. Crazy, they glow like that. Yeah, they're crazy green. Yeah, there's probably more around though for sure. Yeah. But it's good that their eyes glow that green <laughs> so we know. <laughs> Jackals. Alright, so I've got camp all set up here. Check it out. I think I'm doing 10 second exposures. Yeah. I think it's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Castle White. Alex over there somewhere. She disappeared behind one of these hills. I'm sure she's around somewhere. Uh, you get some good stuff. Yeah, how about you? Yes! Check it out. Maggie Delos. Cool. Little Delos Milky Way. Nice. After our first day of exploring Hottentot Bay, it became clear why Namibia had become known as the Skeleton Coast. I've never seen a place with such stark contrasts, a beautiful land covered with natural devastation, sun-scorched dunes paired with icy blue waters, and a perfectly balanced relationship between the darkness and the light. To say the least, Hot and Tot is a photographer's dream. But our adventures in this bay were just beginning, and tomorrow we would be getting our first real taste of the famous Namibian dunes. All right, another adventure is underway. We came into shore, it's a beautiful day. We're gonna walk around the bay here, which I think it's about three kilometers to the other side, but there's a huge dune over there. And so we're gonna try to climb it. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah, I thought he was because he's looking around. He kind of realized he was surrounded, and then he just laid down. <laughs> what a cool animal! They must be so used to people around here. Dude, I got a great shot of him. Look at this. Desert yeah. yeah. walk. Desert walk. Such a bizarre yeah, landscape. Go. It's just these massive dunes, like going straight into the water. Nobody in this bay except us. 
lot of old stuff here and a lot of shells and nothing else than just us. but they're just so freaking impressive to me. They're so very cool. Yeah. This is awesome. Wait for it, Kaza. I know, I can, <laughs> I can gonna, hear them. It's about to be a crazy view. <laughs> I can hear them up there, it's like, wow, wow. <laughs> I know when we get up to this ridge, it's gonna be like, mine explosion. Oh, Look at that. Wow. wow. sand goes and some of these dunes how high do you think this dune is like 60 meters or something it's pretty high it's pretty high just a big pile of moving sand constantly moving I'm gonna try and slide down it on my fin Wow oh. <laughs> I don't know if it was the heat from the desert or the fact that we were the only people for hundreds of miles, but we started to go a bit crazy. Before we knew it, clothes were coming off and we were running around like we were the last people on earth. <laughs> Done in true Modella style. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful day. And we're now just walking down. What are you doing, Brady? We've got our lobster or crayfish trap from the island. I put some canned chicken in a little bait bin tie it closed so they can't steal the bait and then we go and drop it Okay with it here? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, got it. Lobster or no lobster, we were living on a high. This area of the world is pretty magical and really put into perspective how special it is to travel together as a group of friends, as more of a family really. To be able to explore nature by sailboat with this crazy group of people is something to be cherished. Next up on Delos, we arrive into Spencer Bay after a beautiful sail up the Namibian coast. We're blown away by a little island full of penguins and a shipwreck surrounded by a massive colony of seals. coffee and tea, starts to work, and then disappears. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bum, bum. Boom. Boom. Oh, I'm just, uh, where are you from? I'm from a place called England. What does it say on them? Well, I thought it was German. <laughs> but it's my duck Hated youngster have -o anything to with only picks Lucinda. So it's just it's gobbledygook. It is absolute gibberish. <laughs> I mean, what does just f mean? Just just. I feel like I want to drink tea all day and think of the Queen. <laughs> oh, she got it. The ninja got it. Previously on Delos, we were... Why are you saying pre previously? Previously on Delos. There's a dog barking out there. Uh, 